If you're like me and you're stuck in a place where COVID salvation is highly, highly, highly unlikely, then this video is probably for you. If for some reason you're my teacher or my classmate, then please note, I'll be doing all of this for the sake of entertainment purposes only. Okay, so here's the deal. Monday to Friday, we have this thing called Synchronous Session where we learn together online as a class for 15 minutes straight using a platform like Google Meet or Zoom, but usually it's Google Meet for most of my subjects. Now, that's not the problem. The problem here is I just can't wake up early enough to not come in as late. So what do I do? Well, instead of fixing my sleeping schedule, I'll just build something that solves it for me. I mean, I know how to code, right? My plan here is simple, I'll just automate the entire process of opening up a Google Meet link, give it a schedule, and booyah, we are done. Is it that simple? Well, I couldn't care less. Come on, we have Stack Overflow in Google. So I Google searched and found out that I can use Selenium to do all of the work for me. All I have to do is write this Python script that continuously runs in the background, which would compare my system's time to a given Excel sheet, and whenever it finds something that matches, it should trigger Selenium to open up the corresponding link. I coded it up in Python, and this is the result. Legit, right? But come on, who's going to believe me if all I have is this piece of software that types in <laughs> What we need is visual evidence. See where I'm going? No? No? Really? No? Okay, so here's the deal. Instead of having to control the computer manually like what this guy did, I'll just let the script do all of it for me. Besides, how exactly can a sleeping stick do all of that manual job? That's boomer stuff. We have code. Here's my idea. I'll use a virtual camera with a software called OBS. Set it so that whenever an app needs to use my webcam, it shows a pre-recorded video instead. And boom! Exactly like what this guy did. But now I don't actually have to do anything to get it running. I'll just let the script run in the background and voila! This is how it looks like. Well, if you think about it, it might seem like a good enough program already, but I don't think so. We could definitely do something better. How cool would it be if whenever someone calls my name, I automate the chat response? Just to check your name. Here's my idea. I activate this stereo mix thing right here, which allows me to use the sound coming out from my system's microphone input, integrated with speech recognition, a Python API, which does exactly that. Recognize speech. So I test it out with my real name and Gene. It works. Then I tried it out with the stereo mix to see how it would work on the actual platform, and this was the result. Hello. Yeah, I think it works. So I made some final touches, added a feature to the rest of the code, and. In the following time lapse, we'll be testing this one out for my legitimate classes. Yeah, and we'll see how this one fares. Let's let's go. Thank you for watching.